Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand. Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> we implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I command my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts, and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From that day your fathers left the, hand, the land of Egypt, even to this day. I have sent you untiringly all, all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks, and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you so much, God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. <laughs> if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, heart not on your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. <clears throat> let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are his people, he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, heart not on your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say it is by Baal that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Baal by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when stronger than he attacks, when one stronger than he attacks and overwhelms him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not against me, and whoever does not gather with me, scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus says famously in the gospel that we just heard, whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. And uh, this brings me to, to sort of think about the reason why the Pharisees are upset at Jesus in this, in this gospel passage. Uh, and that is because Jesus is doing these things, uh, specifically driving out demons, uh, and they aren't doing it in the way that they expected or the way that they would like him to. He's not an official member of the leadership of Israel. He is not an official rabbi. He's not an official scholar. 
and he's not officially trained in doing things like dealing with demons. And uh, I think sometimes we end up doing the same thing. We see somebody doing something and we immediately question their motives. Like, are they really doing this for the right reasons? Uh, or they're, they're, they can't possibly do, be doing this for, for good. Maybe they're just doing it to, you know, self-aggrandize. Self and maybe it's a small town sin uh, to look at others and kind of question why they're doing what they're doing. But I think what Jesus is telling us is that we need to leave that up to God to determine whether or not they're doing it for the right reasons. We cannot possibly judge another person's heart, another person's disposition. Uh, we think about how we assume uh, what we assume about other people's and change that to assuming the best and hoping that everybody is doing things for the right reasons, even if they, they might not be. Because Good can come from all kinds of people, both good and bad people. And the reason that's possible is because good doesn't really come from us as individuals. It comes through us from God. And we need to recognize that God can work through anybody. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The pray for the Lord's name. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, and contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your, your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and James our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your servant. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with the sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. 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 Thanks.